for example a wife cannot be married to more than one husband okay and if for example a wife is married to another husband after his death that record is wiped off okay okay just one husband record is stored okay and from the other side for example uh, the, the case is the same for example that one husband can be married to maximum one wife okay don't worry okay for example this is for the sake of data recording only okay don't worry don't worry <laughs> okay okay so for example if a husband intends to marry to another woman old record would be wiped off okay for example so just one wife can be there at one time for example assume this is the scenario that is the organization scenario okay so in this particular case because it's a one to one relationship from both the sides so the overall maximum cardinality of this per particular relation would be a one to one let's just try to understand the minimum cardinalities in this particular example the question of minimum cardinality would be that is there a possibility of existence of a male without marriage can a husband exist can a person male person exist without having a marriage relationship again this thing is dependent okay let's assume that we can store a person's record without having a link of that person with a wife okay so from this side for example this is the male side the cardinality of this side would be zero and for example a woman's data can also be stored without having that student married to someone okay so the cardinality from this side would be o so this is optional from both the sides but there can be other possibilities as well it can be o and o it can be 1 and 1 it can be 1 and o it can be o and 1 okay any confusion are you people following me great अभी हमारे पास टाइम है ठीक है तो अभी हमारे पास 15 मिनट्स हैं तो हम इसको एटलीस्ट हम क्लोज कर लेंगे ओके दिस यूनरी डिग्री रिलेशनशिप सो लेट अस जस्ट ट्राई टू एक्सटेंड दिस कांसेप्ट एंड लेट अस जस्ट ट्राई टू फिक्स फिट रादर दिस यूनरी डिग्री रिलेशनशिप ऑन द अदर टाइप ऑफ कार्डिनालिटी ओके for example we have an employees data okay and the relationship is that an employee is boss of another employee or the relationship is that an employee is a subordinate of another employee okay so from this side for, for example this is the boss side and for example this is the subordinates side now let us try to model the maximum cardinality a boss can have more than one subordinate let's assume okay so let's assume this is the scenario that a boss can have more than one subordinate for example a head of department has more than one faculty members reporting to him or her okay so a boss can have more than one subordinate but from the other side a subordinate can report to maximum one boss okay a subordinate can have maximum one boss and for example if the boss is changed the old record would be overwritten okay for example that is the scenario that is the case in that particular scenario this is one to many from one while one to one from the other side the overall cardinality would be a one to many cardinality this is the maximum possibility okay and let's just try to 
get the final type of cardinalities concept, which is many-to-many -many cardinality. And let's assume we have a subject relationship, subject or a course, okay, the course in which you are enrolled. A course is or a subject is a prerequisite for another course, okay. A subject is a prerequisite for another subject. For example, uh, let's assume a database is a prerequisite for data mining, okay. Now let's just try to detect the maximum cardinality out of this relationship. So a subject can be a prerequisite of more than one courses, okay. Let's take our university's example, okay. One course can be a prerequisite of more than one courses. For example, database is a prerequisite of data mining and database is a prerequisite for data warehousing, for example. So one course can be prerequisite of more than one courses. So this is one too many from this side, okay. Let's check from the other side. One course can have more than one courses as prerequisites. For example, data mine, for, for data mining course, database is a prerequisite and for example, object oriented programming is another prerequisite. So one course can have more than one courses as, as prerequisites. So this is one to many from the other side as well. So what would be the overall relationship? It's a many to many cardinality relationship because it's a many, it's a one to many from both the sides. So the overall cardinality is a many to many cardinality. Similarly, we can check from the minimum cardinalities perspective as well, okay. So for example, there is a possibility that a course can exist without having a prerequisite, okay. So the other side would be optional. And for example, a course can still exist without being prerequisite of another course. So again, from the other side, it would be an optional cardinality. So, I hope that Asar Andaz will be able to do this. And whatever I tried to deliver has been well received and digested as well. Great.